All right, hey, I'm gonna go into uh, electronics, uh, wiring, and things like that. We have all kinds of different five ways and switches. Um, this is the Shaler, which is the one I've been using the most lately. I really like it. It's a die cast, and then it's got a plate on it. And if if I need to lower this a little bit, I can grind this down, and it still works. But basically, it says "Made in Germany" on there. Um, so what I want to do is I want to why I want to figure out where what's hot and what isn't. So we're gonna lay it down here, and then like say we're gonna say we're gonna have it in here. It would be like that. If they, this wall would be closest to the th to the to the uh, outside of the guitar. It doesn't really matter. It, whichever way it fits in best. So I'm gonna lay it down, and I'm gonna say okay. So this is my neck pickup in this position or that position neck pickup. So I'm gonna mark which ones I have a uh, basically a, a meter here when and I set it on continuity and uh, let's put that in the video there so what I want to do is I want to hear that noise so whenever I'm in the position I want so this is my neck pickup so I'm gonna find my hot wire first so I'm gonna I'm gonna start here one and two if you can see okay so you're gonna keep going until you hear that beeping noise so I got seven and eight are on right now for my neck pickup okay but six here isn't on now if I hit the switch to the second position two will be on so let's see I got my seven and eight are still on my six isn't but my five is so I would write down that when I'm in the second position that wire has to be on the five and the seven if I want to get them both so you would put one pickup on the five so let's see we go to the middle position and let's see what we got all right so in this case eight is hot which is over here so this is on here but when I go to this one it's off but when I go to the second position between the two okay these two are both on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write that down I'm gonna keep track of everything and then I'll make up a wiring diagram before I go ahead and make this so then we go you know if you go to the bridge pickup the same thing you gotta find so I don't know if it's gonna come off of eight or not it doesn't come off of eight at all see so I got to come over here. So one's probably going to be my hot now. Let's see, one's not my hot either. So ah, so we have six and eight now. Still on in the second position, but I add this one. If I put it in this position, this one's not on. As soon as I hit to the second, so these two are on. So this is my middle pickup's got to go here now. For my middle pickup to work on the other one, it's not touching anything here. So we're going to get in the middle, and now we're going to find out where it comes off of this side of the switch. Ah, there. So my middle pickup's going to go on here, or my two hots. You can go either way. You can reverse it. So I'll go into that a little more. I just wanted to go over how to how to find the uh, the positions on a switch. Um, it's good, better to know what you're going to have, because when you're going to wire it up, you don't want it to look like crap. And if you start switching your wires around, and I'll go into tinning wires, stripping wires, uh, putting two together, humbucking, uh, Coil taps, uh, in phase, out of phase, um, humbucking, I already said that. Uh, there's a lot of different combinations you can do. Um, there's also, you know, multiple switches, like a, a four pole five way, which I'll get into in another video. But I really, I was, since I was getting ready to put this in, I figured I just want to run a, run by and give you the, the lowdown. But this is a good switch. It's like 20 bucks, but definitely worth it.